This is Zangbo. Greetings. Namaste. This is Karma from Bhutan and I like to share about inspirations on this channel. So please keep watching. Today's episode I'm going to share about mindfulness and the benefit that I've experienced. So please keep watching. I know there's a lot of talk about being present or being in the now these days. But let me share about the benefits of practicing mindfulness, having experienced and personally witnessed the benefits of it in myself and in others close hand. If you're watching this video for the first time, please hit the bell icon and please subscribe to my YouTube. Thank you. Here is a ear bag that I took a course, a mindfulness course from my coach, Kartika Nair. She runs an academy and uh, the course was called Living in Freedom, which is an amazing, amazing mindfulness course. I'm so grateful to her. Had it not been for her, I would not have the courage or confidence to talk to you right now as I do. I would have not recognized my self-limiting habits and beliefs, which are, un which are automatic, unconscious thought patterns. If we observe our mind closely, our mind is like a butterfly that flies from one flower to another flower, never standing still. Let me share you the benefits that I have uh, experienced. Number one, I feel much more calmer. I used to have a lot of worries and get stressed easily in the past. But practicing mindfulness has made me become much more calmer, significantly re reduced my worries. And even in the challenging, difficult situation, I can uh, easily handle the complexity or the issues in hand much more uh, calm in a calm way I have also experienced reduction in my stress level through the practice of mindfulness mindfulness practice makes us live in the present moment and take life every day as it comes by Instead of living in the past mode and future mode, like what if. This has helped to reduce my stress level and including my negative emotions huge, massively. About myself, including about how I view others. Scientifically, they say that cortisol, which is responsible for the stress, gets reduced. And this is why we experience a reduction in the stress level. Life becomes much more jo joyful. Life feels peaceful, joyful, connected, as compared to living in the survival mode, which I used to live before. Under the feet of stress, of stress hormones such as fear, I used to live in pain, constantly in fear, pain guilt, feeling overwhelmed, I used to feel so frustrated most days. Even a slightest thing will trigger my emotions, my negative emotions, my thoughts. And I used to feel so judgmental about myself, about others, which doesn't serve anybody, least of us, all of us. And uh, I, we seem to become more, uh, less and less and less reactive. Our mind loves pain and it creates drama and pain. That was what I used to live in the past. A lot of drama was happening in my life, a lot of pain, and uh, it was like uh, addictions getting into all this entangled in those kind of negative uh, emotions. When we practice mindfulness, we become watcher, we become a thinker, and not get entangled with the emotions and drama. Suppose like for some example, if somebody shouts at you, you know, you have to take it as like somebody shouting at the image of they have of you, not get entangled. I know this sounds very difficult and it might sound very uh, abstract at this moment of time. But uh, if you keep on practicing, even for me, uh, it is difficult. You know? When somebody shouts at you, your habitual pattern is to shout them, shout back at them. 
and re respond immediately to that trigger. But mindfulness helps you to become less reactive and pull that trigger down. And uh, practicing mindfulness, we become the observer slowly. Instead of a thinker, we become observer. And we cease to be under the cease to be under the control of our mind. I also experienced profound uh, changes in my health after doing mindfulness. I used to have a bad chronic pain and uh, sinus, and uh, I used to have low energy most days, which all reduced after practicing mindfulness. These days, my body feels much more lighter, as if a heavy weight has been lifted, and as well as mentally and physically, I feel much more lighter. Maybe because this is because uh, instead of living in, in the thoughts, in the thoughts of others, in the thoughts of the past, in the thoughts of the future, I try to bring my mind into the present whenever I can, whenever I become aware. Instead of getting lost in the stream of thoughts which doesn't do our body or our emotions or mental well-being good. So I try to bring back gently. So this is like we can do that. Whenever we think that our mind is wandering somewhere, try to bring it gently back. Instead of uh, judging yourself for getting lost and uh, cursing yourself, try to bring back slowly and gently. Mindfulness also increases the clarity and memory power. Mindfulness has helped me to increase my learning and memory processes. Indeed, mindfulness does help to learn and remember. As we get older, forgetfulness is part of our nature, it seems, and our brain seems to become sluggish. But mindfulness helps, helps to keep my mind alert. I used to forget so easily in the past. One time it became so bad that I lost even my car key which I had to order from all the way from Korea and it cost me a bit of my month's salary. So so I feel like uh, it has helped me to become more alert, more, uh, uh, more creative and more, you know, gain wisdom, clarity, increase my confidence and cope with the change and uh, mindfulness also helped with my sleeping habits. In the past I used to struggle a lot sleeping and then I used to get insomnia but uh, after doing practicing mindfulness I was able to sleep uh, quite long and deep because uh, there is a meditation in the, in the mindfulness called body scanning which helps us to sleep peacefully reduces uh, brain disorderliness. When we do not live in the present moment, we are constantly firing and wiring the circuits in our brain, the neuron circuits of our brain, over and over again. However, through mindfulness uh, practice and regular meditation, it helps reduce the brain waves and disorderliness, incoherence and increasing the brain efficiency. Our mind is a powerful tool if used wisely instead of is it using us this reminds me to mention here that uh, research says that we produce 70 to 80 thousand of thoughts habitually every day in an autopilot way every day 80 percent of them are negative if you pay close attention to these thoughts you would be amazed to discover that uh, most of them are useless repetitive unimportant thoughts that pass through the mind like a huge lightning speed. Most of them are worries about the future or reliving the past. This is clearly unnecessary. The only moment is now. Escaping the now is the cause of much tension and trouble in our world. So, so that's why by doing mindfulness practice our mind becomes much more uh, clear and uh, calm and rested. So this is all from my side. 
about the benefits that I've experienced doing this uh, mindfulness practice. Thank you all for watching this video. And if you have come this far, please do not forget to like and subscribe to my video. And in another episode, I'll be sharing you the mindfulness tools and techniques of how to practice uh, mindfulness.